Okay, so here we are, another Linux of the box. I'm going to look at Pop OS's Pop OS 24.04, um, but it's got the Cosmic Desktop. Same machine as usual, the Ryzen 9, 5060 Ti, all the same, same stuff. So this is really interesting. This sort of you know came out a couple of days back, and it's beta, and it's another Windows tiling manager type thing. Now I'm just enamored by a March, you probably seen my previous video. And I don't, I think I've sort of found my home in Amarchi, but I have to be unbiased, you know, stay unbiased. This is, you know, going to be brilliant. I know Pop, Pop, you know, System76 is a great company and they make great stuff. So this is going through Ventoy. So hang on, just give me a second to tab down through the billion operating systems I have on it. And um, I did have a bit of a problem. It's a beta, so fair play. I had a, a few problems installing this. Uh, yeah, so it's 24.04 based on um, Ubuntu. It it went in fine, but it sort of wouldn't boot. And it kept, I had to actually switch out some hard drives to get this to work, which is very odd. But we got there in the end. So there's a bit of a jump. So, you know, this hopefully won't happen to you. Does all this massive installation stuff at the beginning. Here we go goes in and if you've installed pop before this is the you know, usual routine they've got their own little font going on it's great it goes in and the installation is really quick um it's not not um you know it's a very quick installation with this like there's not a lot of stuff being loaded on or, or maybe they find a way to do it super quickly but it works really well here we go so we're into the interface and then the installer pops up um, I have to say, the only thing I flagged this later on, that we've lost the giant robots, and I really like Pop, um, Pop OS's giant robot stuff, but they've still got robots in their you know, interfaces. Here we are, so standard solution screen, UK, um, English for me, go through the whole routine, default, pick your drive. I mean, we've done this before, this is nothing new, this is nothing new. But you can sort of see a hint, look at the menu at the bottom, that thing, I mean, it's... It's always been in the middle, but they've got curved corners, so it's big. But they've <laughs> there's some big changes because they've got curved corners. So here we go, and then it will install. So this was about the fourth time I did this, and I had to switch out an NVMe because it, which I know works. So I don't quite what happened with this. First of all, when I tried to log in, it gave me errors. And then it just wouldn't go onto the drive at all. So I'm on my third drive to get it on. So I don't know what that's about. I mean, it, this machine gets a different operating system loaded on every other day and nothing ever goes wrong with it. So obviously it's a little bit picky. So in it goes. And it is quick. This is real time. So it's zipping through it. Here you go, nearly there. Nearly there. Continues and the restart. And this is where it was failing. So we'll do the restart. What's going to happen is I'm going to do the restart, get show you the login screen, and then we'll jump into it because I had to run OBS to do the next part of it, basically. So here we go. And eventually, when it thought about it, it gets to the login screen. Okay, so we're in. I've set up OBS. As you can see, we've got OBS working. It's one of my saw tests. Um, and so this is this is cosmic. Here we go. Let's just minimize that. All right. So you hopefully you should still see me in the bottom right hand corner there. Um, this is the cosmic interface. Now, what's different about this than the normal pop is they've got they sort of like a tile manager thing going on. Okay, let's have a look at that. Sounds familiar after my Marchy video. And there you go. So we've got, I've got terminal over there and text document over there. So we've got tiling windows. Let's bring up a browser, which is great. So you can also go back down here in this control. You might not be able to see it, but you can go back to floating, tile your current workspace. You can switch between floating workspace and tiled workspace, all gray. Gives you hints, you've got super arrow keys to move around different workspaces. So let's close those down. Close those down. 
I can tell you this now from all playing with Amarchi and now I've moved over to Amarchi, it's not as slick. It's not as, I'm still using the mouse for everything. I mean, it does have more keys, but it's not, it's not that. So anyway, so what I've done, I've done all the basic stuff. So let's just go through this. This is beta, remember. I've already installed DaVinci Resolve with there. My script for pop, uh, normal pop works fine. So if you want to put Resolve on this, just go on um, on the channel and look for the pop installer script. It's NVIDIA only. And see what we got. So by default, you've got Office. So we've got Libra Writer. Hello. Hello, there we go, that works. Typewriter benchmarks, so typing benchmark is completed. Go and save. And then you've got the pop store, the cosmic store it's called now, which has got all these apps. So we got let's have a look for Alpaca. Alpaca. Yep. So we can install some AI bits and bobs. Um you've got everything there, very comprehensive laid out. What have we got? Games. Steam, I've already installed Steam, so that's great. Really, it's quite a lot of stuff on there, actually. OBS, everything, so it's flat pack. So you've got all your flat pack stores. What have we got? Applets, clipboard brightness, logo menu, customize the menu up a little for your logo. So there's lots of they've got lots of in, installed applications. So everything that's already installed in here is in here, which is great. So let's just fire up a game in my menu. Let's do a game quickly. Give it a second. As you know, from all these videos, Steam does its own thing when it launches. Here we go. And then Steam, make sure we're online or offline. And then go to, where do we want to go? Home. Library home. Dredge, play. Now this should launch up. What's going on down there? Steam app. This should get out of the way, he says. There you go. There we go. And then load new. Start up pontoon. Let's have a quick look at this. So gaming, fine. I mean... I think if you've got, um, it's not like you know, catchy and, play, and bad light, things like that, very optimized for gaming. Um, so this is, as I would imagine, quite people say that this is great for playing games on. So yeah, so Bob's pretty good for that. Okay, so that, that's Steam. Um, now I've already installed DaVinci Resolve on here, but I have noticed that you, I don't think you can launch it from the icon. You have to launch it from the app. So you have to go in here, double click resolve, and up it comes. Now, let's just, uh, I put a bit of footage on there. So it's just something you can see it working there. But does this work? Because we're telling it, yeah. So this is, I like, I quite like this bit where it shoves out. You know, so you basically can use your file browser. There we go. If you would, but it doesn't work. I've tried this. You can't drag. Can you do that? No, you can't move on on a, a marcher. You can do that. You can put these two panels up. You can actually do it on a Mac as well. You can do this kind of thing, where you can go between these two two windows and actually drag content across. So yeah, so the free version of Resolve you know, works fine. Nvidia drivers. So I've got export to MP4 AV1. That goes out the back. So that you've got that on the free version. Obviously a bit limited. So that's Resolve. Um, we've seen that you could do games, word processing. Um, obviously you've got this enormous cosmic store to put all your other stuff on. Let's have a look. We've got GIMP, um, put that on there. Yeah. So Cherry Studio, I think you have to pay for that. Is it Cherry Studio? Just to apply for LLMs. Oh no, no. I'm thinking of a totally different program there, but you could probably put, you put LLM Studio on him, right? Totally. So yeah, there we go. Bottles, ocular, blender, pinter. That's quite a good one. Pinter's a good image editor. Just put that on quickly. So yeah, so it's nice. I mean, you know, 
Pop's always been a beautiful looking operating system. It's like always one of the ones where if you were going to go over from Mac or Windows, Pop would pr probably be your one of the ones you'd look at because it is a, it's beautifully made. It looks great. They've lost the giant robots from the previous version. I did like the giant robots, but it just looked like a cohesive operating system and not bitty. It's like somebody designed it. So, you know, it's one of those things where this is a brilliant evolution of it. The addition of the Windows thing is fantastic. We've got workspaces over here. You can move between works. You can see I'm on, um, what's it called, OBS there. Let's have a look at that app. System, Utility, Vim. It's got Vim on there. Where's that app I just did? Pinter is the sort of painting app type thing, isn't it? There you go. Do a bit of painting. And then bring in another one. See, I mean, the tiled windows thing's great. I split that one in. Now, I don't know the keys to switch around, but however, I mean, I'm going to say this. I think I've said it already, but I'm still using my mouse. I'm still using my mouse. Discard. That's the thing where I'm Archie, which is throwing me totally, as I've said in the other video, and I really like. It's forcing me to use the keyboard and forcing me to work faster. I mean, that's nuts, isn't it? If I feel more productive when I'm doing that. What else have we got down here? Let's have a quick look around. We've got cosmic settings, Wi-Fi, like sort of know me, isn't it? Desktop wallpapers. Got lots of interesting wallpapers there. Cosmic desktops. Uh, display. My resolution, that's wrong. Sound. Input devices. Applications. System accounts. About. Choosing my device. Wayland and all that. So, you know. Really nice, very capable. I won't be switching, tell you that. I'm just going to stick with um, the other one, Amarchi, for a while. But this, I think, is uh, another step forward in a way to getting people to move from Mac or Windows onto Linux. This is a very beautiful operating system. And for a lot of people, this is a perfect thing for them to jump onto. It, it It's like, you know, it's not tech heavy. It looks great. It'll do what they want. System76 are an amazing company. They build great computers and they spend time and they make this you know it, it's one of these things where I, i'm hoping we'll get like a, a multi-ecosystem like linux different linuxes for different people so this is more of a you know people who are more sort of, i don't want to say this a bit more traditional with their way they want to work something like a march is for idiots like me and developers who want to just work really quickly i want to do creative stuff really quickly and and i love the way that it looks so yeah, but this is a great job from System76. It's it's really nice. Um, yeah. So I mean, this is something I put on my son's laptop and he'd be very happy with this. He, he's at art school. He'd love this because it's like, it's just beautifully made. It's very beautiful. So, you know, you want something nice to look at because you're staring at computers like 90% of the time. Anyway, there you go. So that's Pop OS from System76 with the new Cosmic desktop. I'm not tested stability and everything like that. It works, it's beautiful. Um, you know, it's a really nice operating system. They've done a great job with this. Anyway, I hope that helps uh, and thanks for watching.